very famous indeed, and the Bolton artillery was always referred to with respect that um, you play football against them at uh, your own risk. The posters you see on the streets and on the railway stations was my dad with his blue cream here ported down the middle. And um, just looking at us like you see the people today, like David Beckham. Before we went across to France, we was all on Salisbury Plain. And the king at that time came and inspected us. Well, we used to see them parading along, um, along Manchester Road, near the football ground. He wasn't Harry Goslin, the footballer, you know, he was my dad. I mean, his build was just perfect for us, that's all I did, just square. Stadium for the Bolton Wanderers against Manchester United game this afternoon, which is about to start shortly. Behind us on the big screen, you can see uh, the trailer for Wartime Wanderers. I've got uh, Matthew McNulty, one of the stars of the film, with me now. Matthew, how did you first get involved with this film? Read the script and then, you know, subsequently got a little bit excited about it and then read the book and it was like, well, this is, you know, this, is, this could be amazing. There's this film that you've been cast in called oh. Wartime Wanderers. Yeah, about Bolton Which is about Bolton Wanderers. This is Five Live. The film that you're going to do, Bradley, uh, uh, about Bolton Wanderers. Yeah. It's called Wartime Wanderers. Yeah. And you tell the story about it. Okay. This is quite intriguing. 1939, uh, isn't after it? After a game, they decide to go and sign on. In mass. In mass, that's right. Yeah. Mass, the whole team. So they, the they march off the pitch. Team, yeah. The story of the Bolton Wanderers team who signed up en masse, of it, as it were, for, the, for service in the Second World War has been made into I a movie. I think they lost one player to the war, came back and resumed playing. The manager was a guy called Harry Forakai. Jonathan Price is looking at that part. But I'm delighted to be talking to Mr Tim Purcell. It's much more than just a sports film. I'll be talking to the exec producer. They were eventually part of the rear guard action at Dunkirk. How many, uh, how many of them made it back? Well, in the whole six years... They only lost one man. You're kidding me? No, it's it's quite incredible. Mm. We've started a lot of pre-production. We've done all the location research. We've sourced all the equipment, all the uniforms, everything else. We've got our senior heads of department involved. And it's fully scripted and ready to go. I'm David Evans, executive producer of Wartime Wanderers. 
As you've heard, we've got no problem getting publicity. In fact, we're holding off TV and radio requests. The film is a 100-minute feature film. It's got a significant budget. The company is EIS approved, and the project is fully scripted, planned, and ready to go. We've got a great cast, and more on the way. We've got a terrific, experienced, and professional crew, and we're looking for investors. Wartime Wanderers Limited is structured like this. We plan to pay back the full investment prior to the producers and some of the production companies getting their money. But once we're in profit, we'll split that profit 50-50 between you and us. The complete funding for the film is structured like this. With investment, the UK government tax rebate, sponsorship money and production company investment all coming in, as well as the producers and some of the other people deferring most of their fees. A bank loan to cover the gap is the only outside money. The return we're aiming at is £10 million, and this is where that money will go. We'll pay back the loan and then pay you back, the investors. Once we've paid the deferments, we then have an amount of money to share between producers and investors. For each £1,000 share, this would be the return. It's an amazing, true story. It's got a lot going for it. Fantastic script, excellent director, experienced crew, a lot of planning and strong management. We believe it's an outstanding investment. Thank you.